Today is August 21st, 2018. This is Agent Kevin Kobach from the Colorado Bureau of Investigation placing a phone call to Nicole Kessinger, also known as Nikki, at 720-656-9605. The current time is 6.45 p.m. Hi, Nikki. It's Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Just say your legal name for me, and then we'll get started. Okay. Okay. It's Nicole Lee Kessinger. And your birthday, Nicole? July 3rd, 1988. And you go by Nikki, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. All righty. So <clears throat> you texted me this morning. We had a brief conversation regarding some new information that you remembered uh, from just reflecting on what's been going on with this case. So yeah. you want to start with that? So you did you write some things down? I did. So okay. they're kind of out of order. They kind of just are as they came to my head. Sure. So I was thinking about the whole, um, uh, what is the, the name of the, the stuff she sold for LaBelle? Um, Thrive. Uh, I'm sorry? Thrive. Thrive, that's right. I was like, it starts with a T and I'm trying to blank. So I started thinking about this whole Thrive thing because I remember that we spoke at the end of last week and you were asking what I thought of it. And Chris was never able to tell me what was in it. Like he always, he not always, but when we first met, he was like, you should try this stuff, you should try this stuff. And I never, I never wanted to. I was uncomfortable with it because I didn't know what it was. Um, and I even looked on their website and I still didn't completely understand it. Like he always wore the Thrive patches and I never questioned it. It was like what he did. Um, but one thing I do remember him mentioning to me when he first tried to introduce me to Thrive was that you needed one patch a day. Um, and when he would hang out with me, he always wore two always wore two. So he would usually wear one on like his left tricep, bicep area, and then sometimes he would wear another one on the right side in the same spot, or he would wear it on his like lower back. And I remember thinking like, I thought you only need one of these. Why are you choosing two? And I never, I never questioned it because for me, I mean, like I never questioned him about it. It wasn't really my my position to 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 question him. Sure. And then he said that at some point a few months ago he had started getting stagnant with the weight loss. Okay. So the thing that caught my yeah, so the thing that caught my attention about this recently when I was thinking about it is the fact that. Um, I think maybe the reason he was doing the two a days, and this is just speculation, is because it had like plateaued. So maybe he was doubling up because he thought it had plateaued. So the reason that this comes to my attention is because of his weight loss. So um, he lost 13 pounds in about five weeks. In fact, I can give you the dates. He lost 13 pounds from July 4th to August 11th. And July 4th was the day that I went to his house and sat down with him and asked him, how much do you weigh over there? So that's, kind of like, oh. when you say his house, that's his house in Frederick that he uh, shared yeah. with Shannon. Yes, that's okay. the one that I told you guys I right. went to on the 4th. And that was why I went there, was to, to sit down with him that morning of the 4th. He already had a, his, an idea in mind. He was just asking me, like, can you just glance at this and tell me what you think since you pay such close right. attention to these things. So the 4th, and then that we can be... I know for a fact I was at his house on July 4th, mm -hmm. and I think the second time I went to his house, was Saturday the 14th. So back to this, so the, the Thrive thing. So I was like, okay, well, are you getting enough calories? What's going on? And I couldn't figure it out because I was looking at what he was eating and it was like healthy proteins and vegetables and, and he was eating a decent amount of food. So did you see a change in him personally during that time from July 4th, or pardon me, July, yeah, July 4th to August 11th when he lost that kind of weight? Was his personality different or was it just the weight loss? 
No, it was just the weight loss. He was always this way. I just want to state that right now. Like, this was not something that started at any certain point. But from the first time that we started hanging out, he always had a ridiculous amount of energy. And it wasn't that he was, like, super high strung and bouncing off the walls. It was that he could stay up. He, like, didn't need to sleep. Like, when we would hang out, he... Oh my God, I would try to get him to go to bed at like 10 o'clock every night. I'm like, if you're going to stay here, you need to go to bed at like 10 because I have to get up. I mean, it kind of fluctuated, but typically I would say that we went to bed somewhere when he stayed the night at my house on those nights, somewhere between 11 o'clock and midnight every night. And it used to bug me because it was like, I was so tired. So, I mean, and then so what I would do is I would go to work all day and then when I would get off work... I would sleep. I would go home and nap. And I would, and my naps varied in time. Sometimes it was a half an hour. Sometimes it was like an hour and a half. It was like whatever my body needed. And then I would get up and I would go to the gym. And then after I got back from the gym, he would come over my house. And it would be the same thing where it was like he would keep me up. And I will tell you, without those naps, there's no way I would have been able to keep up with him. No okay. way. I could tell, like, his body wanted to sleep. But, like, his mind couldn't sleep. And, like, he would keep me up. So I'd be like, all right, well, like, let's watch a movie. And I'd see him, like, doze off and then, like, wake right back up. There was a few times that we were having a conversation and he would be talking to me. Ah, Kevin, he would, like, fall asleep mid-sentence and okay. wake up, like, snap. Yeah, and he would, like, snap out of it, like, five or ten seconds later and keep talking right where he left off. It always, like, blew my mind. I was like, this guy must really like me if he is, like, avoiding sleep to be with me. I just, I couldn't do it. Like, I napped probably almost every single day after right. I hung out with him. Maybe his um, attraction to you um, drove him, because you're pretty physically fit, and he was kind of motivated by that. No, do you I think that was some of the motivation for him? to uh, stay awake uh, long hours to try to impress you for lack of better terms no i think it was the fly sleep i think it really wanted to sleep i think he legitimately was trying to lose weight and i think that's what was keeping okay. him up it was almost like he like couldn't calm his brain because it was almost restless where it's like hey i can't turn off at the end of the night stay up with me and he never said that but that was kind of the impression that i got okay yeah, so I don't I don't think that was a, a needy motivated thing for him. So I don't know if like that occurred once I came into his life or if he had already started doing that once he plateaued. I never yeah. asked. Okay. So okay. what's next on your list? Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Um oh, okay. So this is Saturday. So this Saturday is to, would have this been This is Saturday the eleventh of August. Okay. Was that the 11th? Yep. Okay. This is the night that we attempted to go to the Lazy Dog on 120th and Federal, and we walked in, and I looked at their menu. They, like, tried to feed us, and I looked at their menu, and I was like, I'm not eating here. Right. Um, And because, yeah, so we went to the other Lazy Dog. Um, But one thing that I noticed about this is that... um, so normally when we went out, um, I try to keep things pretty cheap just to be like respectful. Like I never went to like expensive places or anything. And sometimes I would pay for things, sometimes he would. But when he paid, he would always use these like Anna Darko gift cards, um, like these little gray gift cards. And they were always like $25 or $50. And they always came in like, like, denominational increments that made sense and he told me that he got these from Anadarko as rewards for like doing really good stuff at work and is that true I don't know I don't know if I mean I know that him and his wife had a lot of financial issues so I don't know if maybe he's the one who actually wanted to spend all the money and maybe he was cashing his paycheck in the uh, gift cards so that his wife couldn't track it. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know. But I think it's something you guys will need so to confirm with. So were they Darko. actually in the name of Anna Darko? Do, do you remember? Or did he just tell you they, that they, they were different? No, 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 no. I've seen them. They okay. see Anna Darko on them. They're like little sil- dark silver 
like credit cards, but they're like gift cards. So um, you're, you're just suspicious that potentially he was hiding money from his wife with these gift cards? Honestly, no. I think Anadarko legitimately gave him these. The oil industry is pretty good about when our operators do things that are safe. Um or they do a really good job at something. Um, they they uh, they usually provide like gift cards or some sort of incentive for it. Just so they bonus these guys out if they're doing a good job or being extra, like they have no safety violations and stuff. Yeah, 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 stuff like that. So it's like they're like safety rewards. So, okay. Um, yeah. So, so do I think they were legitimate? Honestly, yes, I, I, I do. That's something you need to confirm with Anna Darko though, because I wasn't one of their employees, so I don't know. Okay. Um, but I did think to myself, like, if they do have money issues, maybe he was possibly concealing it. But the thing, it's not even the gift cards. I think that are like the main focus on this right now for me. The main focus that I wanted to bring to you guys' attention is he always paid with those, always. And Every then, time you oh, guys, so night. you, you, we talked about this um, prior and let's just revisit it. Um, you guys never really went out on a date per se, with the exception of this Saturday night on the 11th. Usually you no, guys we went, uh, spent time at your home um, versus going out, in, unless I'm mistaken on what you're saying. You are. I, okay. So we, on um, most nights, would hang out at my house, but we went out a few times. I have dates for everything, and okay. I can give you that once yeah. I'm done with this. Um, the reason that this caught my attention was not because of the gift cards. It was the lack of the gift cards. So when we went out to dinner, he went to pay the check, and I noticed that instead of using one of the Anadarko gift cards, he had a baby blue credit card in his hand that he used to pay. Okay. And I just remember thinking to myself, like, why isn't he using any of those gift cards? I'm pretty sure he still has a balance on one of those, but I couldn't remember. And then I was just like, I was like, maybe, because, you know, at this point, at this point, he had made it clear to me that they were, like, filing for divorce. Like, it was, like, done. So I was like, well, maybe... He just doesn't really care anymore, you know? And th- But then another part of me was like, but technically, they're still together, so why would he do that? And, like, I just, I didn't ask, because, like, at, he had made it sound like by that Saturday that they were so far removed from each other that I was like, it's plausible that now he's just not, like, has nothing to cover up. And so, again, I didn't So you just found it was a little bit suspicious, um, that he used a credit card versus the um, the gift card. It was like he had nothing to hide. And that would certainly be, uh, if it was a credit card, uh, just thinking, uh, would be something that maybe his wife would see at some point, and he would have yeah. to then try to have to explain that. So in your mind, he's like, oh, well, we're divorced, or I don't care anymore. Um, she's going to find out that I have a uh, a girlfriend. I know what he was thinking. I mean, I can't think for that man. I mean, I, I don't even, I can't even process half the shit he's done or the lies he's told at this point, so I don't know. I just think that that was extremely peculiar because he had never done that before, okay. and it didn't seem like a big deal to him. Or it's like, he talked to me on the phone pretty freely, like, all the time, you know? So for me, like, he never really seemed, it never really seemed, like, on the phone, like, he had to hide anything at all. And I don't know. I just noticed that that one last time that we hung out, that he paid with a credit card, and I was confused because I was pretty sure that he still had a balance remaining on, like, one of those Anadarko cards, but I I, okay. I don't know. Got it. I don't know. All right. What's so, next? All right. And then um, well, let me just give you me real quick. Sure. Um, for the things when we were out in public. So, I think I have these right. I hope I have these right. Um, but on Sunday, I think it was Sunday. I think it was Sunday the 5th, I think. July 5th? Um, 
Yeah, that's what I meant. I'm sorry. I'm glad that you're paying attention to this. <laughs> yeah. So I think July, I'm going to start at the beginning. Okay. So I went out of town for my birthday. I came home on July 3rd, which is the night of my birthday. On the 4th of July, I went over his house in the morning and then and helped him with his like meal plan thing. And then after that, I went to the 4th of July Rockies game with one of my friends. And then on the... This, I think it was the fifth, I don't remember. Um, we went to go see a movie. Um, and we went to the movie theater that is up by that lazy dog, I think on 144th and I 25. Um, what movie did you see? see? That new Jurassic Park movie. I don't know what it's called. Okay. And I remember um, we got there and the first showing was sold out, I think. I don't remember. I think either we were going to go see another movie and it was sold out or that one was sold out. So but when we went up there to start with, it was sold out. And so we we left and we, um, we went and, like, walked down to these benches that were, like, right across from the Victoria's Secret um, and I don't know what corner of the building that would be on. Um, if you guys need me to go up there and try to figure it out. No, I we'll, I'll figure it out. That's um, okay. Yeah, and we, like, sat in these benches on this bench under this tree and, like, just bullshitted until the next showing of the movie. Um, and then we went to the second showing of the movie, and it was really late. I want to say it was, like, 9-something. P.M.? On, yeah, it on was late. The fifth. And I want to say, I don't, I, I just, I don't even want to say it's Sunday because I feel like it was like not Sunday. I don't think it was my birthday though. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I might have all my dates mixed up. It was either the 6th of July or the 7th of July. It was either Friday the 6th. Okay. Or Saturday the 7th of uh, July. I'm sorry. I was looking okay. at the wrong calendar. That was like our first date and it was the weekend right after my birthday week. Okay. So, um, so it had to have been, yeah, either probably the 6th or the 7th. And okay. then we didn't go anywhere again until the next weekend. On Saturday the 14th, that's the day that I went to his house, um, we went up to Boulder and we went to the Shelby Mustang Museum. And then um, after that, we left. We just went to, we went to his house and I dropped him off because I had picked him up to go to the museum. So, so I you're dropped dr- him off at. You're driving what? your 4Runner? Yeah, we, we drove my 4Runner all the time. I told you I was only in his vehicle one time and I right. think it was like so he could go get gas or something. Like everything, all of these adventures were all done in my truck. So then uh, we went to his house and um we were over there for a little while, but then I was just like, I don't really want to be here. So I left, and I left him there. He didn't go with me. At his home? Um, yeah, like I left him there. Okay. Um, and I left by myself. And then um, the weekend of the 21st, and this is how you'll know if my dates are lined up. I would base it off of this date and work your way backwards. But, like, um... This weekend, I went to Bandemir Speedway with him, and I went and saw, I think it was called the Mopar Mile High National. Mm -hmm. It might have been called Thunder on the Mountain. I don't know. It was the drag races, though. Morrison. We went to Morrison. And there's a patio bar there. Okay. And we hung out. Yeah, and we hung out there probably for a while. I think we were there for a little while. We ate there. So that's where we got. So you, I totally you ate lunch there? Yeah, we did. Okay. Tacos. Okay. Uh, um, this is a really good bar, by the way. Um, we did that, and then we went to Banamere, and then I don't know what we did after Banamere. I think we just went to the house. I'm almost positive. Like, I don't think we did anything after that, because it was pretty late. 